Hey everyone, welcome to Mountain Woman Radio. This is episode number 204 and I am your host, Tammy Treyer. For those of you that are new to Mountain Woman Radio, you can find myself and my family educating on our off-grid, faith-led lifestyle at treyerwilderness.com and you can find us all over social media. Today, our topic is really important. Last week, we spoke about our potential, the things that hijack our potential. Well, the next thing is turning impossible to possible. So many of us are our worst enemy, our own roadblocks. And here is another perfect example of that. I want to read something to you today. With men, it is impossible, but not with God. And that's Mark 10, 27. Those sentiments are repeated at least three times in the Bible. And when things are repeated in the Bible, there is reason for that. It is to make it stand out. It is to ingrain it in us, to help us to realize that this is important. And this is extremely important because we so quickly look at our circumstances in our natural world and think things are impossible. But when you combine our talents, our potential, and the supernatural of God, anything is possible. And that's what this is about today. Because we need to get over that hurdle and we need to keep moving forward. I am so grateful the mountain man and I do not see anything as impossible. We just keep pushing forward and making things happen. And as a result of our example, the mountain boy views things the same way. So let me read this to you. When you label something as being impossible, three things happen. One, by giving in to fear of failure, you kill your own faith and motivation. Imagine that. Two, you risk settling for less than God wants you to have. Not tapping into that potential. And three, by excluding God from the equation, you cut yourself off from the greatest power in the universe. How many of you out there are guilty of this and struggle with this scenario? You know, we all have weaknesses. We all have strong points. I'm very grateful that this is something that doesn't um, hold me back. I've had plenty of other things that hold me back. So I want to encourage you guys today because here is a perfect example. When oil prices went through the roof in the 1970s, automobile makers were ordered to build f more fuel efficient cars. One manufacturer asked a group of senior engineers to drastically reduce the weight of the cars they were designing. They worked on the problem and searched for solutions, but they finally concluded that making lighter cars couldn't be done, would be too expensive, and would present too many safety concerns. What was the automaker's solution? They gave the problem to a group of less experienced engineers and the new group found ways to reduce the weight of the company's automobiles by hundreds of pounds. Why? Because they believed. They believed solving the problem was possible, and it was. Every time you remove the label of impossible from a task and include God in it, you raise your potential from average to off the charts. <laughs> George Bernard Shaw said, some men see things as they are and say, why? I dream of things that never were and say, why not? Why not? Why don't we do that? Jesus said, with men it is impossible, but not with God. For with God, all things are possible. In the natural world, you may not be able to accomplish it. But when you step into the realm of supernatural, God adds a super to your natural and what seems impossible becomes possible. How many of you want to be able to turn the impossible into possible? Really, it's no different than what we discussed last week. We hold ourselves back, and when we start cutting the I'm off of the possible, it turns to possible. We need to have the courage to see these things 
and be willing to put the effort forth. And like it said, you know, when we feel that it is impossible, we're giving into the fear of failure and you kill your own faith and your motivation. Fear is from the enemy. I've talked about that with you guys so many times. When you're experiencing fear, worry, or any form of a negative um, feeling, that is of the enemy. And that is him trying to derail your ideas, your thoughts. And when we give in to that, nothing good comes of it because we, we stalemate ourselves. So you've got to keep pushing forward. And the risk of settling for less than what God wants you to have, remember how I said last week that when we don't step out of our comfort zone and we don't push forward, we are not being the best self we can be. And, you know, God, this was presented to me last week and it was kind of very, it was very eye-opening. You know, in the Bible it says that we are supposed to be fruitful and to do our best. And as we do that, God will bless us. And, you know... It was presented in a way that if we're not doing that, we're actually sinning. And that is that because we're not being the best we can be. We're not following his instruction to be fruitful. And that is found in uh, John 15, 8. And the verse says, When you produce much fruit, you are my true disciples. This brings great glory to my Father. So... I was actually grateful that it was presented to me in that fashion. Seemed a little harsh at the time, seemed a little harsh. It may seem a little harsh when you think about it. You know, we're sinning because we're not producing much fruit. But I'm one of those people, a statement like that motivates the fire out of me. That's just like in James um, 1, 3 through 5, I think it is, where it talks about us... Um, persevering through struggles to build our endurance and our faith. You know, some people are like, oh my gosh, I got to keep pushing. And, you know, I'm supposed to look forward to my, my struggles where those Bible verses really empower me to see my struggles differently. I'm not going to say that I, you know, woohoo because I've got a new struggle. But when I do have a new struggle, I know there's purpose in it. And I'm empowered by the fact that there's a walk ahead of me that's going to serve a purpose because everything God does has purpose. So I want you guys, because I know so many people look at things, look at their circumstances. You know, for example, you guys know we're going through a financial crisis. God has been blessing us greatly. Um, the mountain man, although he had three huge jobs for the fall that would have taken us into spring and the homeowners pushed him into the new year. Uh, so we were, we were stuck for a while and God has just tremendously blessed us with great work and opportunities. So, you know, there's always opportunities through the chaos. But what I want to share with you is, you know, we are in a financial struggle. So, you know, any of you that have been in a financial struggle, you don't sit there and think about how you're going to spend money because you don't have any. And the thing is, when you're in that situation, it can keep you from planning. It can keep you from focusing ahead. And we've been there. We, we hit that spot. And you know what? That's where we need to be more fruitful. And we need to think out of the box. And we need to think abundantly and to... Think about and plan for the things we are going to need, even though our financial situation currently doesn't allow it. And by doing so, we are planning, we are, we are putting our goals on paper, uh, we are also thinking abundantly, and we are willing it to happen and asking God for His blessing on our, our goals and our plans. And if it aligns with His will, for the doors to open. And, you know, the doors have been opening. 
So we need to really, truly focus on the possible because truly anything is possible if you put enough sweat and blood and sometimes tears into it and a lot of knee time. Get on your knees and pray and ask God to help you make what you see impossible possible because that's what he's asking us to do. He is asking us to join our natural with his supernatural. So guys, those are today's thoughts on Mountain Woman Radio. You can find the show notes by going to treyerwilderness.com slash podcast dash 204. And I look extremely forward to seeing you on the next podcast. If you like this, and depending on what platform you're watching on, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let us know how, uh, let me know how this has uh, maybe brought some thought to you and, and transitioned your mind a little bit. And if you're on iTunes or any of the podcast apps, please feel free to give us a review that helps us to reach more people just like you. And right now you can find us on iTunes, iHeartRadio, TuneIn Radio, and Stitcher, as well as a lot of other podcast apps. So guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I will see you on the next episode of Mountain Woman Radio. God bless.